Hi. You guys, I'm sick. Like, like crazy. Like, oh my gosh, it was so bad. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, <clears throat> I don't know what I ate wrong, but, I, sorry, I put this on so I could accent my cuteness with my sickness. I literally don't know what I did wrong, but, oh my gosh, like, uh, two nights ago, no, even three nights ago, uh, like I had a really great day everything was jolly blah 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 but I just maybe ate something wrong or I don't know why but I was very very cold and when I'm you know it's really cold in Korea when I'm cold and I eat something I always get sick really easily I have <clears throat> in Korea we say chaeso means like you have like in like you can't digest stuff you have indigestive problems and oh my gosh I have really bad indigestive problems sometimes and I had that at night, and I was like going crazy, like the symptoms are like, I can't, like, I keep on burping, my hands are freezing, like, I feel so nauseous, I have a headache, and it just like feels so bad, I can't even explain it. And then I got okay though, um, and then after I went to work out, I ate Subway, like I ate tacos, and I slept. The next day, it just, it was so bad too. It's just, oh my gosh, and it just continued, and I don't, I'm not trying to show you my boobs, but do you see this mark? Oh my gosh. Oh, it was so bad. I went to the acupuncture place. But any cowsies, what was I saying? <laughs> I'm just not in the best condition, okay? And I had to get acupuncture on my chest and my stomach. And I never did that. And that was very painful. I really need to take care of my stay elf. And I need to really watch out of what I eat. So I'm gonna take all the medicines that I got at the acupuncture place. And yeah, and oh my gosh. So I wanted to show you this. This is so random. But like the acupuncture place gave me really cute socks. They're like, oh, it's your first time here. You know, it's actually like Seollal in Korea. So here are some sleeping cute little socks for you so you can keep warm. So we're gonna have a sick day vlog let's get it first things first i my skin i just oh my gosh i just washed it and i put toner on and i just put blue cream on and then i literally was like <sighs> and you know like it was just so bad so probably it's really dry and probably my pores are really nasty right now because i couldn't really uh, wash it that thorough either so i'm gonna use a detoxing mask but before that this is the medicine i got excuse me see hallelujah if i burp it's 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 a it's a time to celebrate okay guys don't be don't be mad in this vlog if i burp it's something that's very 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 good it's a good sign okay y'all gotta like enjoy it with me okay <laughs> Uh, happy New Year's. Happy, happy Spring Festival. Mm. I can't take this right now. I, Daddy, thank you. I can't right now. I'm sorry. I'm just not in the mood to learn Chinese right now. Okay, welcome to my bathroom where all the magic happens. <laughs> Alright, so I'm probably gonna try um, this mask today. Uh, I, ah! It's Kunis today dropping stuff. Uh, I was gonna use the I'm from Volcanic or I was contemplating on this, but I didn't want to open up the new one because the Volcanic mask is new, so I'm gonna try this one. This is the Timmy Detox Mask Green Tea Blend. This is a really, really good detox mask, and when I start kind of getting troubles, like problems because of my pores getting clogged up and getting a little bit of acne. Excuse me, sorry, I'm gonna burp throughout the vlog. 
this is a mask that I go for and I love using this mask and then using like a sheet mask because this one kind of clears out all your pores and it has really good ingredients actually and it feels good and it smells so good. It has matcha, green uh, lemongrass and clay. This is great for especially acne prone or oily skin types or any skin type that's trying to kind of, you know, just once a week or so or once every, you know, three, four days you want to just clear out the gunk before you hydrate your skin really well. I love using this. Oh, I'm gonna show you, oh, I'm gonna wash my face first. Since I did use mandelic acid 5% skin prep water yesterday, I'm gonna wash my face with a cleanser because it's important. Uh, I'm not gonna use the, this, I've been using this a lot, the Acid Duo 2% Mild Gel Cleanser. I love this, but this is a chemical exfoliator, you know, so I try not to use this every single day because in the long run, if I do use it every single day, this will make my skin more sensitive But if I use it too often, personally for me. So I'm gonna be using this one. I really like this. Pure May. My friend May gave me this to try out and um, this smells so good and it's actually a cleansing stick. But I really don't, one thing I really don't like about cleansing sticks is the sanitary wise. And I, I'm sure it's not the cleanest for me to like scoop it out with my fingers and stuff every time. But I just don't like rubbing it on my face and then like cleaning it out and then rubbing it again. So what I do is I just get like just a tiny little bit. If I get about that much, that's pretty good amount. I don't even need that much. I need maybe even a little bit less. But this is a really good daily cleanser. And Pure May is a little bit, I think it's not on the more affordable side. But the good thing about this brand is I heard this is a manufacturer company that made the the cleansing sticks for Soom. But I really love this. This is natural, eco-friendly. It smells amazing. The ingredients are really good. So for those of you who really like the formula of a cleanser, but don't like the fact that it's a stick type, you guys can actually do what I'm doing. And it bubbles up really nicely. Like that much amount. Is. Gotta clean out your nostrils, you know what I'm saying? With the help of my friend Lorena, I've actually organized my stuff a little bit. So these are the products that I use often or that I'm testing out and things like that. Like all my toners, all my serums, and then like deodorants too. Serums, creams sunscreens, like body products, um, pills, just to go, maybe I should just go over it really quickly, huh? Okay, so this is all my floss. I really, oh shit, my skin's getting really dry. Let me put something on my skin first. So today I'm gonna start out with Laneige Cream Skin because when my skin is not in the best condition, I don't test out my products. Uh, of course, like new products, but uh, again, if my, like physically, if I'm not in a good condition, I don't test out skincare products either because it's really different. They react really differently. I don't know how they're gonna react, you know? So I try not to try out new products uh, when I'm not feeling good physically. And this product is so interesting. I've never used um, a product that feels like this. It, it feels, pretty much the same as other toners if you use it with the cotton pad. And the reason why I'm using a toner and cotton pad right now before I use a wash off mask is because even if that mask itself is gonna help me to remove dead skin cells and it's gonna help uh, with the texture of my skin tone, even for it to adhere really well, stick really well to my skin and get all the nutrients and goodness soaked in well into my skin, you do want to use a cotton pad and you do want to use uh, some type of toner or whatever you have or mist or something to make sure that you give your painting a clean slate. So this step is really, really important for any of you guys losing a uh, wash off mask too. Okay, so I'm gonna try this mask. 
I've actually tried this with my dad before and afterwards I used it about two to three times. Uh, the good thing about this mask is that it goes a long way. Little goes a long way. So if I get about that much, that could probably cover half of my face. Oh, it smells so good. It's definitely the lemongrass. And, um, ooh, and the volcanic clay, right? It feels so nice on the skin. So every time I use this, I do have some type of like an emotional, mental type of healing. I could really feel that it's detoxifying everything like out of my skin. This does dry up quickly, so I'm gonna hurry up and put it on. Make sure to avoid it near your eyes though. If you do have oily skin or acne prone skin, it's a really good mask. And it's gonna help with that little pimple too. Daddy! You could just use your fingers if you don't have the... The silicone spatula. This is from I'm from, but finger. No problem. I feel like the corners and stuff, it just gets the job faster. Do you see it's already drying up? And this is my sick vlog. I look so sad. And I'm gonna charge my camera because it's going out of battery. I'll see y'all in a little bit. Peace out. Uh, while we're waiting, I thought I could share some of my apps that I use a lot. Uh, it's, you know, basically this and that and that, but, and that too. Naver is, like I told you, a Korean Google. So probably like 95% of Koreans use Naver's, probably 90%. So when you come to it, it just has like the news. And then when you go to the other side, it has like, oh my gosh, I love you. This is Liu jin -yur. He's my husband. Oh shoot. Okay, there you go. Okay, I hope that Derek's not watching this, but he's my favorite these days. He's just so sexy and he's such a good actor and he dresses so nice. I just really like his face. But anyway, sports and then shopping and stuff like that. But we usually go, uh, always search for restaurants. Yeah, they always have restaurants. Oh my gosh, right now it's like, <laughs> I have um, right now, like mostly about Sydney because I'm a planning, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So, okay, oh my gosh, these, okay, it's drying out now. I don't think it's the wisest for me to talk a lot, but I'm so excited. So guys, oh my gosh, okay, where are you? Okay, I need some light. Do you see it like pulling me? I could see it pulling me. I could feel it like tightening up. And this recommends about probably like really short time, five to 10 minutes. So I gotta wash it off soon. Yeah, 10 to 15 minutes, so I'm gonna wash it off in like maybe three minutes. But anyways guys, uh, with details, I'll let you know soon. But I am planning a trip with Derek to Sydney. And I am so excited for this trip. We're thinking, uh, we actually bought the tickets. We, we sure did, but I have to change my passport because it expires in April. So they're like, you should, yeah, they're, they're like, you should change your passport. I was like, oh yes, I should. Anyway, so we're planning to go in March 11th to March 25th. So if any unicorns up in here are from Sydney, please let me know. I'm super excited about this. I'll make another video, like really short video, like titled like, oh, any unicorns from Sydney or Sydney meetup. And I really, uh, I don't know anything about Sydney. I've never been to Sydney. Um, I just met, um, friend and my friend Gina's cafe named Jasmine. She's from Sydney so she told me a little bit about the places that I can visit and stuff but I don't know anywhere like the hotels or Airbnb area that I should stay at. So if you have any ideas please let me know. And if you guys uh, know anyone or have friends or have parents or if you do own a cafe or a venue that we could have to meet up at it'll be wonderful. Uh, it's my very first offline meetup by myself, like without wish trends. So I really don't know what to do, but I'm just planning to bring a lot of bunch of gifts for you guys from some of my favorite uh, skincare brands. And I was thinking we can just have a really nice brunch or like dinner or something, you know? Because I feel like the things that I love to do the most is to eat with the people that I love. So if we have good food and if we have good company and we got good skincare, like what else, what else do we need, you know? So Derek will definitely be there. He'll be there throughout the whole meetup. 
and I'm just so excited. Um, I don't know how many people are willing to come, but if you are from Sydney, please let me know. Like, comment down below. And um, yeah, I'll make a posting on YouTube. I'll make a video, official video that I'm gonna go. And I'll make a posting on Instagram too. So if you guys are down, please send me DMs. Please leave me comments uh, below on that video and this video also. And I could feel it totally tightening up. I think I'm ready to go. I will tell you guys more about the apps that I use a little bit later. And today is a sick vlog. A very ill vlog. So I'm gonna go on and off. I'm gonna go off subject a lot, like I always do. But y'all gotta relate with me. Y'all gotta understand. Cause I'm a sick little coonist today. Okay guys, so it's been about 13 minutes. I'm gonna just rinse it off with water, okay? One thing that I love about this mask is you can see a totally instant brightening effect. So my skin just tone looks good. Yeah, that's what, what I exactly felt with my dad too when we first used it. And you can feel like your skin that has smoothened a lot. It feels really good. Excuse me, that's like my fifth butt burp. Sixth. And I'm gonna put my toner on right away because my face is really dry. I'm using the Laneige Cream Refiner, Cream Skin Refiner to be exact. Just gonna do a little pump. My skin feels really good. So every time I use this, I'm like, yes. It feels like it really detoxes my skin. That skin's around the T-zone, nose area. Seems really just like gone. Really nice. Maybe do a little bit more on the other side. This has white leaf tea water and the whole concept of this is having one whole cream and one toner and it's probably gonna drop because the texture itself is really watery. It's focused, right? It's really watery, drips really fast, but when you put it on, it's very, very hydrating. It feels almost like an essence. Maybe gonna do one more layer just to show you guys how it looks. Show you guys how it looks. If I don't use a cotton pad and I use my hands like this that I'm doing right now, it feels kind of like, I don't know if, um, yeah, I think that's the right like, adjective for it, but it does feel a little bit oily. Like, not in a bad way, but it doesn't feel like watery and it's so light and fresh. It's more of, it's really hydrating. And it feels like it's doing something for my skin and it does feel a little bit oily, I would say. So if you don't like that feeling, I think you wouldn't like it. But if you have dry skin, I think you would really love this product. Um, I'm gonna use a sheet mask. Uh, this is what I've been loving so much for um, this whole month and even for uh, in December. This is also a gift that my friend May got me. And this is the Dewey Tree One Pick and Quick Light Up Mask. And this is for brightening. The main ingredients is for brightening. And this is also very mild. And one of the things that I loved is that it's so cheap. Yeah! I guess sanitary wise, it's better if you have a sheet mask that's like like one each, like packed packaged one each. But if you do care about the environment a lot and you know that it's a lot of environmental waste and things like that, and you want to get more affordable sheet masks, this is such a choice. I think this is really, really wise. And Dewey Tree has really good ones. They have one for like soothing and other like uh, skin concerns. And when you open it up, it looks like this. Move. Okay. So this is what it looks like. And yeah, sanitary wise, it's not gonna be the best because it does like kind of leak a little bit, but. You get one, and then, like right now, I don't have any hands, but I will wipe this part so that it can stick on much better. And it's kind of like not a clear essence or ample type, but it's kind of this milky, creamy type of essence. And the sheet itself 
feels a little bit cheap. Like it doesn't feel as like most expensive, luxurious like sheet masks, but the price wise is so worth it. And there are a lot of sheet masks in here. There are 30, 30 sheet masks. So probably when I calculated it, I don't know the exact price right now, but when I calculated it, um, it was like, I don't know, 50 cents or even less each. And the sheets are really mild. I did say it feels a little bit cheap, but it's not like, you know, like it's not irritating or anything like that. Feels really nice. But it's just like the little details of it. I really like the ample too. My skin tone looks amazing after I use this. I only use it about one to two times a week. If you are curious about how to properly use a sheet mask, like uh, the steps before or the steps after, please check the video right here. Probably a card is gonna go up. And I also have another one that uh, if you have random questions like, is it okay for me to use a brightening mask every single day? I have really good videos that answer those questions like straight up for you guys. So please check the cards. I'm gonna be putting them up and I'm just gonna clean this part a little bit. It really sticks on well actually, but I'm gonna clean the outer part. Okay guys, so it's been about 10 minutes and I've noticed that this dries up much faster. So you should take it off a little bit faster than you would with other ampoules or with other sheet masks, I mean. I'm just gonna soak that in. How does my skin look? Pretty good. I think my pores look much more cleansed and it feels really hydrated now and my tone looks much better too. And a lot of Korean vloggers use this. I also had a, yeah, this one. I also had a, the lucky one. Sounds like a very light love romantic movie. This shall do. So 설날 basically means it's um, Korean New Year's, Lunar's New Year's, so it's a big holiday, big holiday in Korea. This is the chia seed and oats that I'm getting ready to maybe eat a little bit later. Hi. 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 I'm filming you. Thank you. <laughs> the tomato with the tofu, it kind of seems like mozzarella cheese it's so good and the cilantro and the fresh lemonness and the creamy peanut thing 